everyone, um, this is Georgina and I am here with Frankie de Jong. Frankie, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You? I'm good, I'm good. Um, just let me say something in Spanish para todos los que lo estáis viendo y habláis español. Eh, no os vayáis porque aunque la entrevista con Frankie va a ser en inglés, cuando termine la vamos a subtitular como siempre y así la podréis entender. Y de mientras podéis dejar en el live chat todas vuestras preguntas para Frankie y vamos a intentar eh, ir haciéndoselas durante durante la charla. Okay, Frankie. Um, so first thing, pretty obvious question. How are you? How are you and your family doing? Where are you? Uh, no, we're fine. We're in Holland at the moment. Um, the situation here is, it's not better. It's a bit less worse than in Spain. Uh, we can still go outside to, mm -hmm. to have a run or to just have a walk. You cannot be with more than three people, but you, we can still go outside here. So it's, it's a bit better than, uh, than in Spain. When did you go back to Holland? Uh, directly after we, uh, after they told us that we stopped training, I think it's, I don't know exactly, but two, three weeks ago, something like that. Yeah. So you, you haven't felt like the lockdown feeling of not being able no. to go away. No, I went, uh, I went to Holland before the lockdown, luckily. <laughs> okay. Um, still you're not like training with your teammates. So your routine has changed a lot for sure. What's your yeah. daily routine now at the moment? Uh, I'm not having a routine like each day the same, but, uh, I try to do when I wake up, I'm, we are having breakfast of course and then uh most of the time a bit after breakfast well, first we go for a walk with the dog most of the mm -hmm. times but sometimes i'm still a bit tired so mickey is doing it a lot and then uh after breakfast i'm going on the cinta treadmill treadmill in english and then uh, i do some running and after that i do some stretching or some core or something like that and then uh, and then yeah watching some theories, uh, play a bit with the dog and some, some things like this. How do you, how do you keep in touch with, um, the fitness coaches and, and everyone uh, at Barca? Um, they are sending us a program like each day we are getting exercises and everything. And they are asking every day how it's going and what you have done this day. So, uh, I think this is good for us and we keep in shape, not like normal, but we keep in shape uh, uh, the, the best, uh, best as possible. Do you send back to them pictures and videos on how you're doing so they can check on you? Or they no, 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 I'm not, I'm not sending back uh, videos. I just said what, what I've done uh, during the day. And I think that's enough. I'm not sending videos. Are they jealous that you get to go outside for these walks? Yeah, I think, uh, I think in Spain it's a bit more difficult because you cannot go outside, mm -hmm. uh, and you can you still can go outside. And this week the weather was really good actually in Holland, so oh, really? uh, no, I think they are a bit jealous of me. Of course, I think it's normal. <laughs> okay, and what about your diet? Like, how are you dealing with this? Is are you cooking? Is Mickey cooking? Mickey is cooking most of the times. I'm not cooking, but um, no, I'm just I'm eating a bit less than normal because I'm not, uh, not training as much as normal. So I'm not eating as much as, as I did, but, uh, it has not changed so, so much for me. So, uh, of course I'm watching, uh, what I, what I'm eating and what I'm drinking during the day, but I don't have a diet from, I have to eat this or this at this moment. I'm not, I'm not having this. What's the thing you miss the most about your life? in Barcelona, your profession athlete, athlete life now that mm -hmm. uh, what I miss the most is just the daily routine, just going to the club, uh, to see everyone at the club, my teammates to train with them. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot normally. And now, uh, we can do it for already like, uh, several weeks. So it's, it's really hard. It's really difficult to just, uh, sit in your house and wait until the moment we can get back. But, we have to do it at this moment. Uh, there's no other option. So, uh, we just have to be patient and then, uh, hopefully we, we will be back training soon. Since you, you're talking about your teammates, how they are jealous of you, how you miss them. Let's ask you some questions on, uh, what teammate do you think is doing something about a lockdown? Okay. And you can answer yourself, for example, okay. what do you think is the teammate that's making the most out of lockdown, like he's doing a lot of activities and doing a lot of stuff. 
Uh, from what I'm seeing, uh, Brad Wade is doing a lot of exercises. He, is, he looks like a fitness coach these days. Uh, so probably, probably it will be, uh, it will be uh, Martin Bradway. What teammate do you think is binge watching the most shows? Like, uh, binge watching is like watching a lot of series. Yeah, like a whole season in a day or something like. Oh, that. Uh, I think Sergio, Sergio Roberto. Okay, <laughs> the one that nominated you. <laughs> um, what teammate do you think is struggling the most with the lockdown? Oof. Uh, I would have said myself, but uh, I can still go outside instead <laughs> of the others. But uh, I don't know. It's a difficult one. I, I think everyone is struggling with it. Uh, it's difficult. It's difficult to name one. Um, what teammate do you think is learning new skills during lockdown? Like cooking or an instrument or something? <laughs> Uh, new skill. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, DK is always up to something. He's always doing something. So I think maybe it will be. Uh, maybe it will be him. For sure. What teammate do you think is the most likely to write a book on his lockdown experience? Because a lot of things happened to him. Or to to write a book. To write a book. Yeah, about the <laughs> things that happened to him in lockdown. Um. Uh, oof. I don't think we have a, play, a player in the team who is writing a book, but uh, maybe Ter Stegen. Okay. And finally, what teammate is the most likely not to cut his hair or shave his beard during lockdown? Not to cut. Yeah. Uh, Be lazy and say no. Nope. I think I think uh, Griezmann because he already he didn't cut his hair for already uh, half a year or something, so probably it will be uh, it will be Griezmann. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if sometime we, we can know about it. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to, to football. Are you dedicating some time now at the moment to to rewatch games? Um, not not in total. I'm not watching uh, the games back in total again. But uh, of course, I'm watching some highlights of games. Not just our games, just games from uh, back in the days, or just games who. Uh, are broadcasted at the television at the moment, but I'm not specifically watching back uh, games from this season or something like that. No. What has been your favorite match with Barca so far? Uh, favorite? I think the favorite one has has yet to come, but uh, probably maybe Dortmund or Inter in Champions League at home. Okay. Um, now how would you like evaluate this for six months? You say that your best match. Might be yet to come, um, but how do you think? I mean, it's it's been good. <laughs> what, what? Uh, for myself individually. Yes, for yourself, yes. I think I've could done better, but it's not it's not going worse or or, or sorry, it's not going better or, or something like that. Uh, I think it's okay. I'm playing a lot. I'm really happy with this because it's my first year with uh, with this club and it's a really big team, of course. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy with the amount of playing time I'm getting. But I think I can perform a bit better. Um, I've had some games who were good. I've had some games who were a bit less, not like really bad. I don't think I played games who were really, really bad. But I think I can perform uh, better than I did so far. But I'm satisfied, but not not totally satisfied. Okay, there's always room for improvement. Yes. What what's player um, do you have the strongest uh, connection with on the field? On the field pool. Um, nah, I'm not going to name one player or something. I think uh, if you're playing in a team like we are having with a lot of quality players and everything, it's always uh, more easy to to play with them. So they are making it more easy for me. And uh, yeah. Is there anyone who's difficult for me to name one? Is there anyone who, who surprised you a lot? Like playing with him is just. Different. Oh, the okay. player who surprised me uh, the most. Um, there is one, of course. I think Ansu because I didn't know him when I when I arrived at Barca, so he's uh, he surprised me a lot because he's still uh, really young, and when he started training with us, you could uh, directly see that he uh, is really talented and he has a lot of uh, quality. 
and not only with the club and the team, but how? What about your adapting to Barcelona, like the city? How's it? Been? Yeah, the city, uh, the city, and the life in Barcelona is amazing. Uh, we are enjoying it a lot. The weather is really good. Uh, the people are really nice. You have some good restaurants. You have the beach. I think uh, everything what we are searching for in the city, Barcelona is having it. So no, we are really, really happy in uh, in Barcelona. Are you taking advantage of these days to learn a bit more or of Spanish or Catalan something? Uh, Spanish at the moment, Spanish. But uh, no, I'm still learning it. But I. For me personally, it's better to uh, to learn it by having classes with the uh, with the teacher just face to face. I think for me it's working better than uh, studying by myself. Uh, I have to I need to have a bit more discipline for this. And uh, no, but I'm still studying a bit these days. Yes, of course. Would you like to practice it a bit? And I don't know if maybe you could like send a message or do a thing of all the people that are hard working at the moment here in in, in ah in yes yes. I have to do it in Spanish, no? You want to. This way you practice. Yeah, because they already told me that I, and, I have to do it And this way they, they will so. understand. The people will really get your message. Okay. Uh, sí, me gustaría uh, mostrar mi agradecimiento a todo el personal uh, sanitario y personas in, involucradas, algo como así. Uh, y también quiero animar a la gente que, que están en sus casas en este momento. Okay, that was very good. But yeah, nah, okay, not really good. It was okay. No, like six months in Barcelona, seven, eight. Yes, uh, since in Dutch, June, something like this, July. Yeah, half a year. Ah, it's, it's it's very good. I don't, it's 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 hard to learn a new language from from scratch. So. Yeah, but you have to put a bit more a bit more time in it. I think you're doing good. Um, then a question about, um, well, your, your friend with Abdel Kanuri, um, following his recent health improvement. I don't know if you have talked to his family or how did you feel about this news? Yeah, uh, uh, I already knew it, uh, before because I'm mm -hmm. in contact with the family, especially with his brother. Um, so I already knew a bit how his situation was. So for me, it was not a big surprise, but uh, yeah, he's doing great. The family is taking care of him. It's amazing. And uh, hopefully uh, his, his situation keeps uh, improving. Good. Um, you said there's a chapter in, in his book that's dedicated to your shared memories with him. Yes. Is there any that you can tell us? Uh, maybe people have to, to buy the book, but, uh, no, I had a really good connection with, uh, of, I'm having a really good connection with, uh, Nuri. I've always said, uh, especially on the pitch and, uh, no, he's a really special, special person and his family as well. They're really, they're amazing people. And, uh, if you see, uh, the love they are taking care, uh, they are taking care of Abby with a lot of love and it's amazing and inspiring to see. Okay, we, we, well, maybe you're going to answer this book, but let's talk at some recommendations for people like movies, series, books and stuff. Uh, Start with a movie that you will recommend people to watch. Uh, a movie? Mm -hmm. uh, the last one I saw was Lion King. I really like this movie. So I would say Lion King. Okay, Lion King, a TV series. Uh, I'm really, we are really big fans of Friends, the series Friends. We are liking it a lot, so I would say Friends. Is it the first time you're watching it or rewatching? No, rewatching at the okay. moment, rewatching. Okay, a book, and it can be Happy's book. Uh, then I'm gonna say the book about uh, Nuri. Okay, and an activity or a hobby to take up. I mean, you're not like in strict lockdown, but for people who are at home and cannot leave. Um, if yes. you were in that situation, what activity or hobby would you take up? Um, maybe they can study something. I don't know they're interested, but uh, maybe they can study something or just to work out from, from home with other people by uh, a video call or something. It could be nice. So maybe uh, maybe this. Okay. Um, let's switch to some questions that some fans are leaving on the on the live chat. We've got, for example, Saif Al Katan, who's asking, "Who's the toughest player, toughest player that you have ever faced in the league?" In the league, in the Spanish league. 
Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. But if you want to say someone from from Holland or uh -huh. TV, is um, it's always difficult because in a match you're not playing like one against one the whole time against the player. But uh, when I played at Ajax, I played as a central defender sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then we played against PSV and Steven Bergwijn. I don't know. He's playing for Tottenham nowadays. I think he has been the most difficult one for me. Um, Kevin is asking if you had good grades in school. <laughs> uh, no, yes, they were okay, actually. I, Yes, they were okay. Not like really the highest or something, but they were they were quite good. Interesting. And Audrey asking, what are some mental things that you prepare for yourself before a game? Like mental. I'm not having a ritual or something like this. Uh, um, like right before the game, I just uh, I go into the game focused, of course, but I'm not having a ritual or something or one special thing when I'm going into the game. I'm just going into the game like I'm always doing uh, focused, but uh, relaxed. Is it the same to play like a regular season game or a final? Is there something that you mentally need to... For? For work? special games? Yes. Is there a of course, when you're having a special game and you're playing against Madrid, for example, or when we are playing Champions League, of course, you feel that there is a bit more tension in the stadium and uh, in, the, in the dressing room and everything. But uh, I'm not having... I'm not doing other things than I'm normally doing at other games when we are just playing La Liga or something. So, uh, no, I'm not, have, I'm not having this. <laughs> okay. Um, back to this lockdown experience. How, how are you keeping in touch with friends in Barcelona? Um, are you using like special apps or socially distanced games? Well, not uh, in Barcelona, maybe, maybe in Amsterdam too. Yes, of course. You can use FaceTime or a uh, uh, video call from WhatsApp or... Uh, I had I had a application. It's called House Party. Yes. But, but now that I'm not the... having it anymore because there was a rumor that yeah. you could get hacked from this. And uh, and here in Holland, yeah, I'm just using FaceTime for my family and everything. And I visited uh, them once here in Holland because we could we can still go outside, uh, but we are staying in as much as possible. So most of the times I'm using uh, FaceTime. Sergio Roberto told us that he like socially dis distanced training, like he video calls his friends and they train together. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not doing this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'm gonna do it yourself. It. Yeah. And how are you keeping up, like, with your hair? You said Griezmann hasn't cut his hair in like a year. Yeah. I'm assuming. I'm assuming you do. So. Um, no, I still didn't go to the barber or something. I. I need to go to it, of course, but yeah, now it's difficult. Now you can go, so uh, I'm just waiting until the moment I can go again. Okay, and finally, with your your dog Jagger, is his name. Yes. Yes. How old yes. is he? Sorry. How old is he? He's now he's like eleven weeks, I think. He's still very very young. He's such a baby. He's yes, he's still a baby a puppy. Why did you pick his name? Sorry? What, why did you pick his name? Uh, Mickey, Mickey picked the name, actually. And uh, she, said, uh, she said, maybe we could uh, call him Jagger. And I said, no, it's okay for me. I like the name. Uh, so so uh, she came up with the, with the idea. <laughs> okay. Well, um, if you were in Spain, that would be like your, your reason to go outside. But you can go on walks in yes. Amsterdam, so you don't need the dog. Like uh -huh. Yes, yes. Um, okay, lockdown in a word. Being locked down is? Um, in one word, mm -hmm. being locked down is... Uh, I don't know what it is <laughs> since you're... Uh, difficult. Okay. Because you don't have the freedom you normally, you normally have. The first thing you'll do when you get out of lockdown? Uh, maybe going to the barber, but uh, uh, no, of course, I'm going to uh, see my family and friends and meet with them. And then after that, I would go directly to the to the training, out to train and play matches again with the, with the team. 
the thing you are most grateful for at the moment? At the moment, grateful. Uh, I'm the most grateful for uh, Mickey, my family and friends. I'm most grateful for uh, for this. Okay, and finally, if you had to be locked down with a teammate, who would it be? The teammate? Oof. Um, In the same house for you don't know how much time. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm in a lockdown with Mickey and I like it. I think this is fine for me, but if I have to choose a teammate, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not having a problem with anyone, so it could be anyone, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if you, you've got, like, you're not in Barcelona, but if you've got any jerseys, um, there in your home in yes i i because you were asking about me i actually searched some some jerseys i, I still uh i still had some in uh here in my house in amsterdam most of them are in barsta but i still had some uh, some can you show really us, good ones can you show them to us yeah i don't know which one you want to see but i don't know favorite most special it's all from opponents wait i have them here okay First one. I have one was really painful actually. <laughs> it's from uh, from Lucas Mora, you know him, huh? mm -hmm. of course. And he's got uh, this is from the first one when we when we had a win away against the Spurs with Ajax, but then in the in the return he scored a hat trick yeah. and we got knocked out of that. So it's it's a bit painful actually the 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 shirt to see it. But yeah, and I have one from. Wait, I like this one a lot because it was my first game uh, as a starting player for the national team of Holland. It's and from uh, and I changed with Mbappe. I really like this one, so it's with, and I still I still have some others, some yep. some really beautiful shirts, of course. Um, any from the Dutch national team? Oh, wait, I'm going to get it from myself. Wait, okay. one moment. Okay, sure. Um, Frankie va a ir ahora a buscar um, una camiseta de su de, de la selección eh, holandesa para, para enseñárnosla. Eh, no os vayáis porque vamos a seguir preguntándole cosas y cuando termine esto lo vamos a traducir todo al, al español. Vamos a subtitularlo para que lo podáis seguir entendiendo y como siempre tenéis el live chat para ir dejando preguntas. Um, Remember, you've got the live chat to, to leave your questions while Frankie is going to pick his um, jersey from the Dutch national team um, after he just showed this Lucas Moura um, and Mbappé's uh, jersey. Sorry. Nope. <laughs> I'm having here one of the Dutch national team. Mm -hmm. It's from the game against England in the Nations League. Yep. Semi-finals. We won the game in extra time, so it was a nice match. Nice. nice. The final we lost, unlucky, a bit unlucky. Like uh, the teams in Holland are losing finals a lot, so we did it again. But hopefully uh, soon we will uh, we will win one. So I'm assuming the jerseys that you've got in Barcelona are like the good memory ones. Yes, yes, of course. And I'm still the shirt I showed uh, from England is a good memory, and the one from MLPA. We lost the game, but it was my first game for the for the national team as a start play which is a good memory uh i'm having one from mansukic here against juventus we won the game as well and we went through uh to the next round so good memory as well so no a lot of a lot of good memories not only not only but once both are part of football and sport yes okay let's 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 play a game okay last thing um, it's the find the object challenge, and it's yeah, I saw awesome it. Challenge. Okay, so you're basically competing now uh, against Martin Braithwaite and Sergio Roberto. Yes. Okay, uh, Martin is currently leading this ranking with uh -huh. 69 seconds. How many? How many? Six, um, 59. Sorry, 59. 59 just seconds. one second less okay. than a minute, and Sergio Roberto just did one minute and one second. So just Oof. much more. They're really close. Yeah, really, really close. And we'll see what happens with you. So let me quickly mm. give you the, the, the rules. I yes. want you to go and find an object from the house, bring it to okay. the camera. And I'm going to say three to one. So just don't jump when I say the word. You need to. Sorry, sorry. Don't, don't jump when I say the word. Okay. Yeah. You need to wait for the three to one. Okay. Let me get the stopwatch. 
And there we go with the first one. Yes. A spoon. Three, two, one, go. Frankie de Jong, que se va a ir a buscar una, una cuchara. A ver cuando tarda. No, no se le verá dónde está de la casa, ahora se lo preguntaremos. Bueno, lo estoy escuchando desde aquí. Yes, yes, up? yes. Ok, 11 seconds. Nice okay. spoon. I was wondering, where in the house are you at the moment? I'm in the, I'm in the living room and the apartment we are having is not so big, so I, wanna, I want to win you this game. You've got your chances then. Ok, then the next subject can be yours or Mika's. Ok, no, no okay. difference here. A hairbrush. Hairbrush. Three, two, one. Poof. Go. Oh, yes? Yes? Yes, you go, you go. Un cepillo. Cepillo, que puede ser suyo. Ah, I have one. It's from the dog. Perfect. Ok, yeah, no, that's fine. It's good, no? Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay. No, Daggers, hairbrush. But I, I think I, I could brush my hair with that. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. It's Pretty okay. Big. It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, third object. Well, you're doing really good. A pillow. Three, two, one. Go. I have it here under the laptop. Okay. <laughs> okay. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. Okay. And the last one. Yes. Martin Sergi, he's going to win this. <laughs> the home keys. The home keys, okay. Go. Three, two, one, go. My bad. Las llaves de casa. Va a ganar esto. Porque lo de antes era un cojín y tenía uno al lado. Así que. 33 segundos. 34. There you go. 35 seconds, Frankie. How many? 35. Ah, really good. Which puts you straight at the top of the table of this first table. place. <laughs> and we'll see, we'll see how your future teammates do. Uh -huh. You're topping the list. Yes. And you can We're doing it for this. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, Frankie. Um, it was yes, a pleasure you're welcome. Here. Um, tomorrow we have a, a live call with with an arc, with an actor with Darko Perich. And um, you told me you haven't watched Money Haste uh, like, mm -hmm. um, but. Well, for anyone here, remember that tomorrow, 4 p.m., okay, we'll be having a live call with him. Mañana a las 4, um, una videollamada con Darko Perich, que es Helsinki, en la Casa de Papel. Así que id pensando vuestras preguntas para, para hacérselas mm -hmm. mañana. Thank you, Frankie. Take care. Stay yes, safe. thank you. Um, well, go for your walks, since you're allowed to. Enjoy. Your I will, I will. Others. But, but uh, thank you very much. Um, we hope to have you soon in Barcelona. That will mean this is all over. Yes, you're welcome, and all the best. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, Frankie.